Does Nene Leakes do coke? Queen Michelle Obama is coming out with a new documentary. And does Michael Jordan have a little issue with gambling? This and more on a new episode of Gossip with Cutie. What's the tea, honeybees? It's your girl, your Judy, your boy, Gabe, aka Cutie from Keeping It G, and you are watching a all new episode of Gossip with Cutie. Make sure that you are going to go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and click that notification bell for all of your videos and more tea talk with me, honey. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, let's get to this tea and gossip. Now, it seems like Kodak Black isn't being treated fair behind the bars in the people's prison in Kentucky, honey. So rapper Kodak Black was locked up about a year ago at the People's Rolling Loud and has been in prison in Kentucky since then. And him and his team are saying that he's being mistreated, allegedly. Kodak says that in his words, they're killing me softly in here. Wait, y'all didn't think he was singing, like, a song by Lauryn Hill? Like, you know that song, Killing Me. Y'all didn't think he was singing? Okay. <laughs> anyway, so him and his team spoke on Sunday and claims that seven guards done brutally attacked this man. In the message, they said... In regards to Kodak Black's treatment, he couldn't call himself and he is not allowed on the phone or visitation for six months as a punishment for the incident in Miami, even though that has been the case since September. So wait, they they said he couldn't call himself. Why would he want to do that? Why would he want to call himself? I think they meant that they that he couldn't call anyone, child. And then, damn, so you can't talk to nobody. You couldn't call anybody. So how the fuck do y'all niggas know what's going on? I'm, I'm just kind of confused at this story. I'm just going to need the lawyers to get it together. Can he call niggas or can he not call people? How y'all know what's going on if he's getting fucked up? You know, just, just get the story right. <laughs> So the queen number one floatist, Miss Michelle Obama, that came out with a documentary, y'all. Over the weekend, Michelle Obama released a trailer of her awaited documentary releasing on Netflix called Becoming. The documentary has photos and videos of her childhood with Michelle actually being the narrator on the documentary. She also has scenes with her jamming with youth, and women showing that she ain't shit stop her since she left the White House considering her best-selling memoir that actually released back in 2018 in the fall. And now she got this documentary, okay? I can't wait to watch it, guys. Like, honestly, I feel like it's going to be so inspirational. And child, to top it off, okay, according to the Jasmine brand, her and her booth thing, you know, y'all know her boo, you know, that big, that big, huge, famous guy, the president, the former president of the United States of America, Mr. Barack Obama. They both have joined together with other celebrities such as Lady Gaga, Condoleezza Rice, Miss Kerry Washington, and Alicia Keys for YouTube's Dear Class of 2020 special. They have chosen, they have been chosen to be the greats to give a commencement speech. Come on, black love, black love. Black culture, okay? Black appreciation, okay? Black power, yes! So wait, y'all. Men fight over women they not with? Child, that's ghetto, honey. But that's what these two grown-ass men did by the name of, like, Jennings and Peter Guns, child. So after all the years of trying to get divorced, 
Peter Guns and his Love and Hip Hop Academy Award winning wife, well, ex-wife, I should say now. Listen, y'all know that, y'all know that lady used to be acting on that goddamn show, honey. Is that true? 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 But they finally made things final in what other classy way to let their fans know by posting an Instagram picture, right? <laughs> so, Abita posted a picture of their divorce paper and Peter, with the bitter sounding the end, commented on the picture. Now, how does life fit into all of this, you might ask? So Amina and her ex are actually still on good terms. So good that they're actually still making music together. So Amina actually posted a little part of her new song, Do What You Wanna Do, that actually has Peter featured on the song. He's, you know, doing his, ow, ow, ow. check it out. Sway said, treat it like some movie shit. Charlemagne said, go and get the money cause you did it, motherfucker, and you can't go and do this shit. Ebro said, F who don't condone that. You a scumbag, Peter own it. I owned it not forever though. Cause black queens around the world deserve better, yo. Now it seems as if Life Jennings was loving what he saw and shot his shot and commented and said, what if I said? Well, Peter was actually still around the comments and actually decided to put his two cents in with trust. I've said it and what and that he can go ahead and try uh, basically like Jennings can go ahead and try and get with Amina, but that Peter's a hard, uh, hard act to follow. Life then clapped back with for us to have something in common. I would have to be common and I'm far from that, bro. So then that flooded with a whole bunch of shady comments back and forth, tit for tat, between both of these Negroes just to really stroke each other's ego, just basically explaining how they can bag a woman that really don't even want they ass. Like, does Amina even want y'all niggas? Like, for real, for real, does she really want y'all? Like, do niggas even do that? Do niggas do that? Ugh. Now, it looks like that Takashi 6 9 is actually making his debut out of prison in a big way. He decided to come on IG Live like, like everybody else. <laughs> so on Tuesday, the Rainbow Head sister took to Instagram to let his fans know that he will actually be making his first appearance on today, Friday, on IG Live at 3 p.m. So 6 9 actually has been cooking up some beats, honey, okay, since he's been released from prison. And he's actually trying to create some music videos. Y'all want to know where he's trying to create his music videos? In his backyard. <laughs> his lawyers actually sent out a letter asking the judge to allow Takashi to film his little music videos in his backyard so, you know, he could promote his music. And he said that, honestly, he could spend up to two hours a day in the people's backyard creating this music. You know, that sounds fun. Are you guys going to catch his live? I'm, I'm, I'm probably not. Okay, did the GOAT Michael Jordan have a gambling issue back in the day? So the conclusion of the popular documentary, The Last Dance, aired this past Sunday. And on the episode, they touched on Michael's gambling habits from back in the day. So the story basically starts with Michael being bashed for losing a really huge game for basically what's called the Eastern Conference Finals. Listen, y'all, I'm not a basketball head, so I don't fucking know. And they thought that they, that he wasn't really focused on the game because he was gambling with his dad the night before in the People's Atlantic City. So he states in the documentary that he never bets on games. He actually only bets on himself, and that was actually golf. Do He states, do I like to play blackjack? Yeah, I like playing blackjack. There's no laws with that. The league called, and I told them exactly what was happening, and that was with me. He was basically saying that he was just you know, betting on himself. Basically, and also, y'all, I'm paraphrasing, so, you know, that's not really all that he said. He said a whole lot of other shit, too. Now, after the NBA investigated that this was actually true, Michael indeed does not bet on the basketball games, but only on his golfing. But the thing is, 
he used to bet extremely big, honey, okay? Now, is that really a gambling issue if you love playing cards and you're confident enough that you know that you're going to win, that you put down your own money? I mean, I don't really think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, shit, if you got it, flaunt it, honey, okay? That's what the Queen Bee says. If you got it, flaunt it, more I know you want it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Child, the girls are talking, honey. And they saying that Miss Nene Leaks could be allegedly snipping on that Tina on the side and may really need some treatment for that rather than her mental. So a few days ago, Nene Leaks said during a live conversation on IG with her friend and Basketball Wise reality star Jennifer Williams that after this past season of Real Housewives of Atlanta... She really thinks that she needs to seek some sort of mental health service. She states in the live that I'm actually seeing a therapist. She said she felt that she was very traumatized and thinks a lot of the time people see the tough exterior and they don't know that the people actually hurt inside. That, you know, the reality stars, everybody hurts inside. Sometimes like everybody else, which is honestly so true. I could agree that mugs out here, they don't got no sympathy sympathy for people on TV or celebrities because they just feel like as if you put yourself in this situation, so you got to deal with it. N no, bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a whole ass human being. Like, just like you. Why do you feel like that I need to be dealing with so much backlash just because I'm in the spotlight? So, word actually got around and it ended up being getting around to Miss Claudia Jordan's new show on Fox Soul called Out Loud. And she has some guests on there as well, okay, such as Miss Vivica Fox, Lisa Ray, and Selena Johnson. So, Claudia brought up Nene's decision of going to therapy, and honey, Auntie Viv threw a whole last cloud of thunder and lightning and shade Nene's way. Okay, check it out. She's getting therapy for mental or, or consumption? Yeah, was right. traumatizing for her asking questions. She felt like they were coming for her. So she's getting help from a therapist or she's going to dry up? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just... I know because they're all they're I can't wait to see what Nene has to say about this, honey. Shit. If she says anything at all. Now, look, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I love me some Nene leaks, honestly. Honestly, y'all, I kind of feel like that I could be like her long lost gay gay son. Like, because she's honestly like my spirit animal. You know, the tit for tats, the shade, but you know. There were a few times in the season that I questioned if Nene was on something or was she just too lit. I mean, I feel like it's the second one, you know, that she was just too lit. But Nene don't give me no coke, girl. You know, she don't give me no coke for the girl. So I don't think, I don't think she do that. She she don't she don't do that. She don't do that. Okay. So that's gonna be it this week, y'all. With gossip with Kiyuri. Make sure that you go ahead and if you want to keep up with more gossip and fun with me, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and click that notification bell. So stay safe out there, guys. And honeybees, cute.